Welcome back. This is Kevin from Hats and Guitars. I've been playing professional guitar since the mid 80s and uh, I own my own hat company called KTG Hats. And uh, I like the color green, if you haven't noticed. Uh, green is part of my, uh, my persona. And uh, today I've got a uh, very interesting Amazon guitar by Van Gogh. I discovered them when I, uh, I bought my digital piano. I wanted to get like a piano for the house, but one that was easy to move. You know? So I decided to give Van Gogh another shot. Um, I tried a couple of their acoustics, loved it. Um, so this is what we call a parlor size, uh, rather than a full 39 inch, it's about a 36 inch length. Um, so it's, uh, you know, it's not like a mini guitar, but it's three inches smaller, you know, it's just like slightly smaller size. So it's, it's still real deal guitar, but it's a little bit more compact when I'm hanging around the house and stuff. I wanted something really small, compact, easy to play, easy to pick up. And uh, I spoke to Van Gogh and um, they had something very special uh, that uh, I wanted to show you guys. This is a uh, travel acoustic guitar in my colors, uh, my specs. So uh, let's take a look. Um, the price of this was affordable. Um, and you guys know me, um, I have a history of liking Amazon guitars. You know, I like uh, higher end stuff too, but um, I have a soft spot for inexpensive guitars that like really play well. I like to just, you know, you know, they surprise me. These days you get so much for the buck. So uh, I've kind of got hooked on that stuff. and. I really, uh, I had to get one of these. So um, it came double box in a huge, huge box. I mean, they didn't have to use such a big box, which probably costs Vengo's shipping department a lot of money, extra money, but um, it's good for us. And you just get this extra layer of protection. So even if the, you know, the UPS man or whoever is throwing that box around, uh, the inside is still gonna survive. So let's open this puppy. I've been keeping it closed, waiting for this moment because I wanted to share it with you guys. So I should have had it for a day or two. The ship also, with extra protection, you have a really heavy padded big bag, something that's like very heavy. And then they give you this waterproof accessories bag, waterproof big bag with good padding, backpack straps. And then inside here you get everything that's like, you know, you get a nice capo, you know, branded um, set of strings for the acoustic 11s, nice light one. Uh, manual tells you how to set it up, uh, you know, stretch the strings and everything. Comes with a pick guard that you could actually stick on there, just uh, adhesive. That's optional. A lot of people use it. I tend not to. Um, comes with a very nice uh, tuner, uh, digital clip-on tuner. These things work well. These I like a lot too. These are that they polish and cloth, but they're big. They're really huge. So I use them on all my instruments. Um, they give you four different types of picks, different gauge picks, and you've got a brand new guitar strap, you know. Everything here is decent too. It's all stuff that you're gonna just use, like you know, that polish and cloth, that capo, that tuner. I didn't use that stuff, you know. Um, their stock strings are good. Don't throw them away thinking that they're, you know, like throwaway strings. Stock strings are good. Um, I keep the stock strings on my Van Goghs because uh, whatever they're using for strings are definitely, um, they're good. They're zingy and alive sounding. I mean, if there's like extra there protection here, this thing's heavily padded. So you get to wear the backpack on your back. And on your back, so you could go to your gig, uh, you know, hands free. And you've got all your accessories go in a little pocket. This is a nice big bag. It's just like everything is heavily padded. The better handle than you're going to find on most of your cases and big bags. Very strong. Everything is padded. There's a little neck pad button right here, and it straps down to the pad. And behind it, see that? There's a piece of foam that's shaped 
Thank you. Very good gate pad. It's got like some structure to it. Here's the Allen key. You might have to lower the action sometimes. Uh, maybe one or two turns with this thing and the guitar plays just way better. Has that Art Deco thing, that uh, arrow-shaped fingerboard, and those little, uh, almost like eclipsed moon phases of the moon inlays. Satin finish is really nice, quick, very fast, quick, fast, smooth. The neck has, again, a very fast feel to it. My colors, simple trim. The rosette is just very simple. I wanted to keep everything simple with this guitar, see? This echoes this. Simple inlays. Simple green back with the polish, satin polish. Okay, first thing you're going to want to do is stretch the strings. Okay, so let's get them, we're gonna to wanna to stretch them side to side. We're gonna also wanna stretch them outwards, okay? So let's start. Okay, let's get out our tuner next. Accessories back. You're gonna have to put your battery in. You want to take off this plastic. Ah, satisfying. And then the back panel. That's your power right there. Just hold it for a second. The unit will go on. All right. Let's clip it somewhere. Let's try this one. Okay. okay right at the end of the fingerboard, there's a little notch. You can see a little hexagon shaped hole right in there. So what I did is I stuck the Allen wrench in there and I'm gonna turn it downwards towards the floor. So if I'm holding this on my knee, I'm gonna give this like a quarter turn downwards. And then pull it out. After that, maybe we'll give it another one, pull it out, give it another quarter turn, tune up and try it again.
string bending. Nice. Yeah, so the satin finish is very, very nice. Uh, the weight and the size I like a lot because I can just sort of lay back, stick my arm in here, you know, watch a little TV, something like that. Practice my shredding or my attempt. Thank you.